Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this one, we're going to be making the simple game Bulls and Cows, Cows and Bulls, whatever. Um, we're going to be making it in Python, as I said. The game, if you don't already know, the program picks a random four digit number, each different characters, and you put in a guess. And for every character in your guess that is in the final uh, the thing you're trying to make, you'll get a cow. And for every character you've put in that's in the correct place, so not just in it, that's in the right place, you get a bull. And the goal is to get four bulls, so you get the exact same uh, the exact same thing as the hidden number. And we're going to be making that in Python. So, I'll be pausing at points in this, or expecting you to pause. Sorry about the police. <laughs> expecting you to pause uh, and do parts on your own, because this is like the sixth or seventh task now, I think. Uh, and I feel like some of you will be able to do parts of this on your own. But anyway, the first thing we want to do for this task is we want to make a random four digit number. So we want to import random so we can use the random library to make a random number. And we want to make an array called number or whatever you want. And this is going to store our four digit number. So it might be like this. Let me just uh, close Chrome, sorry. Um, and what this is going to do is, rather than just having a simple four digit number like one, two, or two, three, four, five, with this we can easily check the array to find out the position of the character we want to compare. Uh, you can do that with normal variables, but it's a, it's a lot nicer in a list, because then you can just append a number to the list and so on. Uh, so we'll leave that blank, obviously. And we also want a global variable called uh, attempts. And that's going to equal zero, and that's going to be how many, how long it takes us to uh, get the answer. So every time you get it wrong, you add one to attempts, and at the end it tells you how long it took you to do it. So now let's make a function, and this is where you're going to do your first thing. So we'll make a function. I'll call it a make number, and this is going to make a random four-digit number. <coughs> so what it needs to do, this is your task: make it so that after this function is finished running, you have a four-digit number in here where all four characters are different. So it could be two, four, well, whatever I just put in, three, five, two, one. Uh, if any of them are the same, then you've not done it right. And there only needs to be four. If there's any more, any less, it's done wrong. So pause the video now if you want to have a go at that. And assuming that you've already paused and had a go, if you want to, let's continue. So we want to loop four times. So for i in range four, so it's going to loop four times, one for each number. We'll make a variable called x, and that's going to be random dot rand range between zero and nine. So that's going to give us x is a random number between well zero and nine for our thing, and we're going to do number dot append x. So we're going to pick a number between zero and nine, put it in the list. Pick a number between zero and nine, put it in the list, and so on. And then at the end we can uh, print the number. Now there are problems with this, and. Uh, the problem with this is, yeah, we get a random number, but we can have repeats. So as you see here, 7114. That's not what we want. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is great in all making a random number, but how do we check whether it's got repeat characters? Now, there's plenty of ways to do this. You might have done it a different way. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say if the length, so if the length of the array number, which is always going to be 4, but I, I could put 4, but I'm just going to leave it like this. If the length of the number is greater than the length of the set of the number. Now what that means is the length of the number is going to be 4 and even in, in this case if I took out the word set it would say if 4 is greater than 4 and that's, that's not going to do anything. But what it does right now is it says if this number is greater than the length of the set of the number and as, if you take a num if you take an array and you put like it inside set it will output the same array but without any repeats. So let's say the length of the array right now normally is going to be 4. But the length of the set array of this is going to be 3 because it will ignore the repeated 2. So it'll say, if 4 is greater than 3, do this. So if we have any repeats, it'll run this code here. And the code we're going to run when it's a repeat is we're going to do number.clear, which lets us reset the list. And we're going to run the same function again, make number. Which means by the time it's finished re-looping and looping and looping, we'll have a random number. So we'll now uh, print the number. And you'll see. Uh, do you want to launch anyway? Sure. Yep, there's no errors. 
one six four seven run seven five eight three five six oh eight i could go on forever there's never going to be repeats now because it'll keep running the function until there are no repeats so this is a good way to do it you might have done it a different way if it works then fine i've made it work in what like one two three four five six six lines inside the function so try and get it as short as you can while it works fully that's always nice to have concise code but anyway let's not run this now we're gonna make the function for playing the game now i don't really expect you unless you want to to go and make this whole function um but i'll walk through each step of it and why you do it so first of all we need to be able to use global variable attempts and increase it so we're going to type global attempts and then we can do whenever um we run play game this is going to get ran every time they get it wrong so attempts plus equals one that means that if they get it right on their first go attempts will be one and then if not two then three and four and so on we also want to make a variable called cows and we'll set it equal to zero and bulls is equal to zero and for the sake of testing we're going to print the number here so that we can see what it is rather than just guessing for ages when we do the test um, we will also take an input so i'll call it a choice equals input uh, please enter a four digit number now this is going to take it in as a string which i think is default even if you put in numbers to just an input but it's going to be fine for what we're doing then we're going to make a local array called guess the reason we're putting it into an array is we want it to be the same like this so we want the the guess number to be one two three four and we want uh this number to be like two three four five we want them both to be an array so we can compare them easily um now to put our number that we've just entered from being a four digit four character long string into a four um four item array list we want to loop four times so for i in range four whoops four not dollar sign um then we want to do guess dot append which adds to guess um the integer of choice i now if you don't know what that does um it takes so we, when you are trying to figure out what a what loads of brackets inside other brackets do you want to work from the inside out so we're getting first of all choice i which is literally going to be uh it, when on the first run of the loop it'll be the first character so position zero then one then two then three then four so we get the first character which might be one then it's a string so we want to turn it into an integer so that runs that and then we want to append it to the list guess so that's how you kind of look through loops to understand what's going on so by the time it's done this loop this guess will be our number split up and turned to integers then we want to do for we want to use we could reuse i i think but let's just use x no yeah, we'll just use x, why not? For x in range 4. Then we want to... Um, we want to do the checking for bulls and cows. So... Um, what we could do is... Um, if... Oops. If the guess x... So x is going to be 0 at the start. If guess x minus 1 uh, is equal to number minus 1. That will work for this. Because I feel like... Um, wait, sorry. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go and print x. Oh, right, I need to actually run these functions. That's a good idea. So, um, make number run play game run. Okay, so um, let's put a space there so that's nicer. Um, we're gonna do um, if guess x is equal to number x balls plus equals one and we can go down here and put like print i'll come back and do cows um balls is going to be the amount of balls uh and then 
cows is going to be the number of cows. And then what we can do is at the end we can check if we've won by doing a if the bulls is equal to four, then uh, print you won after uh, this many attempts. And then we have to actually write attempts. And we can also check uh, else if uh, balls does not equal four, then we'll play a game again. What's the problem here? Um, Anyway, so let's say we put in eight, five, one, three. You got three bulls. I haven't done cows yet. And then it tells us the number again because I've left that in. Uh, please enter a four digit number. And if I put eight, five, oh, three, you went after two attempts and then, yeah. So the game works now. We just have to work a way of doing cows, which is not as easy as doing bulls because for bulls, we can just check, well, if the, if the first one in the list is the first one in the other list, add one to bull. Then to do cows, we'll just go here. For uh, j in range. Now, we want to check um, if it's just like in the array. So we can do for j in range four and then for yeah, or I'll call this i, I'll do, for j in range 4. Now this is a double for loop. Now that basically means we're going to go to 0 in this, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this. 1 in this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what we can do is we can say, um, if um, guess i is equal to, so if the position, if the first position in our guess, so maybe that's going to be one, if it's equal to um, number j, which is going to be um, the first number in j, and then it checks the second and the third and fourth. So if our first character is any of the four, we'll add one to cows. Now if our second one is any of the four, third one's any of the four, fourth one's any of the four, we'll do um, cows plus equals one. I don't know if you can just do plus plus in this. You can't, you have to do plus equals one, okay. Um, let me just test whether this works. So I don't want to, oh, I pressed F4 by accident. I don't know what that does. Um, all right, so let's do um, five, three, eight, oh. So we've got four numbers that are in it, but they're in the wrong order. Cows is four, okay, it works, good. Enter a four digit number, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll enter the right one, three, five, oh, eight. Congratulations, you won after four attempts. Press any key to continue. The only thing we want to do now is remove the print number, and I'll have a quick run through of the code before I end the video. So, import random lets us use the random, co it's nicely coded pink here for us to see. That means we can generate a random number. The number is an array here, which is the number we're going to guess, which is hidden. Then attempts is how long it's going to take us, how many guesses we've had to get it. This function here makes us a random number, and then it, after making the random number, it says, if there's any, <coughs> sorry, if there's any repeats, clear the list and make another new number until, basically, this, this will forever loop until there are no repeats, which is what we want. Then in the main play game, we bring in the attempts and add one to it every single time we get it wrong. Then we reset cows and bulls to zero every time because um, we want to, because they might enter a different number that has less or more cows and bulls, so we want to restart it. Um, then we take in a number, which is going to be four digits long. We put that into an array so we can check easily the position in the, in the, char in the variable. Uh, then we do a check for cows. So we'll check, is the number we're on equal to any of the numbers in the other one? If so, add one to cows. Is the second character equal to any of them? Add one to cows. Third, fourth. 
So that's a good use of a loop inside a loop to check all the positions from one into the other. Then for x in range four, we'll just simply check, well, is this position in this one the same as the other? If it is, we've got a bull. And then we tell them how many bulls and cows they've got. Then if they've got all the bulls, you win. And if they haven't, start again. And let's play now quickly without enter four digit number two, three, five. Well, I'll start off one, two, three, four. We've got one bull and one cat, uh, two cows. Now we've got to remember that one of the cows is a bull, so just keep that in mind. So let's check: is that well? We'll put um, five, six, seven, eight. One bull, two cows. So that's not very helpful again. So we'll go. We can go up to nine, zero, one, two. We have no bulls anymore. So we know that nine, zero, one, two. One of those characters is in the final number, but I've got something in the wrong position now. So. One has moved, so we could try putting one here and then just going one, uh, oh two nine. There's no ball, so we know one is definitely not in the first place. Um, this can take forever. You could do some better guessing, like uh, four. We got a ball in this one, so we go four, seven two nine. I'm just gonna keep guessing now. Two four five two. So we know two of those. Oh, that's because. So we know we know two is in the answer. So we can put like two. Um, we can put two seconds. So we go oh two one three. Nope. So two is not in. Two is definitely in the third position, right? So if I go zero zero two zero, oh, I'm just bad at this game, I guess. Oh, three cows. One two four five. Um, one two four six. So we know one, two, four, seven. One, two, eight, six. One, two, nine, zero. I give up. Anyway, so there we go. That works. I'm bad at the game. Whatever you can, you can practice at the game. <laughs> I'm not busy thinking about the game anymore. Um, but anyway, that's how we do the task, and I'll link to the actual game on. Uh, it's, it's not a very interesting game. I don't expect anyone to go and play it. But this is just sh showing how you can make a game in Python. Not a very visual game, just just a text-based game, because uh, that's all you can really do in Python unless you download extra libraries for importing sprites and everything. But um, I might do that at some point. I might look into Pygame. I've not really used it before, but I know Python, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, I'm more of a Unity guy, but anyway. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you also had a go at making this function on your own and maybe even some of the other bits on your own. Uh, if you don't understand anything, please ask. I'm sure I'll be able to explain it if I haven't already. Um, if you want more Python tutorials, just ask, like the video, subscribe. I'm so close to 100. So close. Um, I'll make another Python video tomorrow or the day after. I'll find another task to do. Um, I'll keep making unity and everything. Just comment what you want. I want the feedback. I would love the feedback. But anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.